Okay, so a new clip. After the Angus beef clip. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, 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 I sort of recognise some of this, it might actually be, that might actually be the promised land, but from further up, we may actually be lucky, well, it was certainly a, somewhat of an easier way to get into it, if it is, we're actually coming down and across to it, uh, yeah, I can see a road down there, So the clinker is actually up there, so it is right near the... If that is true... So we missed out on the clinker yet again, fellas. I've only ever been up to the clinker once. I think that was... I think that was the actual first trip I was here. And that would have been ten... a decade ago. And oh, look, at, oh, look at this. This will be rather nice. Yeah, I think that's the promised land over there. So... Uh, yeah so the water obviously runs down there keeps the over nice lots of looks like dodder growing in those bushes over there so a nice bit of rockage for ev there mm -hmm. hopefully i don't have to linger too much I mean, the amount of time I've uh, saved by just doing the... Okay, the quality isn't quite the same. But for the close-ups, they're all right, you know. You know, for these going in close for, for the rocks and things. But, uh, yeah, oh, hang on, there's a bit of a track there. Hmm. A bit of a track. So is it or isn't it the promised land? Oh, interesting. Might be a new one. One, a slightly side pocket valley. I don't know, but uh, worth a shot going down. I think there's a footpath there. So either it's an orchid site that's frequ frequented quite a lot, and it looks like it's been frequented when it's wet, which is interesting. So maybe it is. I don't know. I'd have to look. Oh, I don't know. That rock over there could be. Uh, I don't know. Is it or isn't it? Well, I look at that tree there. I'll try and look for that tree in my old footage from, uh, uh, was it two years ago? What was it? When was it? September, October 2012, I think it was. Was that the last time I was up here? I don't know. But anyway, I'll have to look back over old footage. I've even got, I've, as I said, I've got stuff trapped on the laptop from 2010, I think. So, you know. So, uh, I think that was when I tried to get back up to the clinker and I just couldn't. It was just too slippery back then. Because, uh, yeah, I think, when, when did I first discover it? Was it late in the season? I think it may have been late in the season. And then I went back the next year, re quite early, thinking, you know, I'll be right at the beginning. And they, they, they were already up. They have already basically flowered and were up. And I think, God, that's, that's, that's the earliest I've ever seen Profolia. Either that or they never, well, we, uh, I do, they do go dormant because I've seen them go, um, you know, the colouring up and going into dormancy, so they do go dormant. But, uh, yeah. Um, well, it's got the sort of slope, hasn't it, of the promised land. It just looks so different. But, of course, for that, for that track to be like that now, I've never been over this far. I think. I've always been down that bit there, I think. And there's a little path in that way, too, so... I, uh, hopefully this is the promise now. If I get down to that section there and the scenage over there towards that house and thing over there is roughly the same, well then I know it is. It just looks... I think it is. Those trees there, should be able to locate those in the, in the, fo the old footage. But yeah, I think we're going to go down. I think it's going to be a slow descent though. God, it's... Well, I know from that thing we took on the, the uh, another month, another ridge top sort of thing. Uh, this sort of look is more than 45 degrees. Is that the front coming in? Or is there somebody wondering? I mean, someone's going to... He's tracing my steps. Well, we'll just get out of here, I think. You know. 
I don't want to get into a threat life situation well, I just have to kill someone because I like it no <laughs> uh, yeah Oh, our old two school bullies, you know, they put me, put a rage in me, which, you know, if it comes out, oh, I don't know, I, I think it would be a benefit, actually, you know, I just sort of, yeah, I just kill the person, go to sleep and be back to normal, and, I, and I'd actually be thanking my two school bullies, i say, thank you very much, you've just saved me um, 30 years of anguish, or something, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Or, or would it be a case of, oh, I'm ready to do it again? <laughs> I don't know, but... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think it was just, I think it was just the, you know, the fact you could, you never had a peaceful walk home from school. You, you never knew when they're going to jump out from a bush and you think, you know, you, you think, oh, you know, you're that far from home and they never go this far. But one day they did. And all that, it was all, all that, that that's all that it took was that one day when, I was three quarters of the way home and they jumped out from a bush. They'd gone to all the effort of walking all that distance and waiting for me to come home. Yeah. So for the rest of the time then, you know, statistically you think, no, no, but oh, well, there was that one occasion, you know, it was always lingering in the back of your mind sort of thing. So, but then again, as I said, you know, maybe... Maybe society just should have used that and I should just become a mercenary like a secret weapon they drop behind enemy lines, you know. Uh, I just let off the biggest nuke that's ever been invented because I just don't care. <laughs> Maybe that's the way, I don't know. You know, just take out, you know, hundreds of thousands of people and just keep firing that, you know, you know giant Gatling gun because, you know, you just like the sound of the bullets. <laughs> I don't know, you know. You know. Can't you see, you know, as I say, you can't see all those people being ripped to shreds in front of the thing. Oh, I just like the sound of the bullets, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can focus in on something completely different. Yeah, it just takes your mind off it sort of thing, you know. Yeah, a bit like from that, was it episode three sort of thing, you know. Even the children, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, to him, they weren't children, were they? They were just... More potential school bullies, weren't they? Yep. Anyway. The dark side, yes. Yes. I don't think it's dark enough to call something magnum opus, though, is it? Whoa. I don't think you could be that dark. But yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to be talking about the Magnum Opus for years to come. It's, I think it's occupying, occupying a very special place in my mind at the moment. <laughs> uh, anguish and humour all rolled into one. Yes. Well, that really does look different and I think it's probably time to start a new clip. He's been gas bagging for far too long. Okay. <laughs>